and a Christian kiss? Kissing is a topic of debate among Christians, with questions about whether it is permissible before marriage and what the Bible says about it. While the Bible does not provide explicit guidelines on kissing before marriage e in a dating context, it does offer insights on the purpose and intention behind kissing. Understanding the biblical perspective on kissing can help Christians navigate the boundaries of physical intimacy in relationships. Key takeaways, Christian beliefs about kissing can vary based on individual perspectives, cultural backgrounds, and denominational teachings. The Bible does not explicitly address kissing before marriage in a dating context. Purity and maintaining physical boundaries are important principles in Christian relationships. Communication and mutual respect are essential to navigate physical intimacy in a way that honors God. Christians should strive to maintain self-control and discipline in their relationships to uphold biblical values. Christian do's and don'ts, navigating the path of faith. Can a Christian kiss the role of kissing in the Bible? Kissing holds a significant place in the Bible, appearing in various contexts that shed light on its purpose and meaning. While it is most commonly associated with expressions of love and affection, kissing in biblical times held a broader significance. Understanding the examples of kissing in the Bible can provide valuable insights into its cultural and spiritual importance. One example of kissing in the Bible can be found in the book of Genesis when Jacob kissed his son Joseph upon their reunion after many years of separation. This kiss represented a heartfelt expression of love and reconciliation between father and son. Christian beliefs about kissing. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul encourages believers to greet one another with a holy kiss, emphasizing the importance of expressing love and unity within the Christian community. This kiss serves as a symbol of affection and spiritual kinship among believers. Additionally, the Song of Solomon, known for its poetic portrayal of love and desire between a husband and wife, speaks of passionate kisses exchanged between the lovers. These intimate expressions of affection reflect the deep emotional and physical connection between spouses within the context of marriage. Can a Christian kiss? These biblical examples highlight the multifaceted nature of kissing, encompassing love, reconciliation, and expressions of spiritual and physical affection. They serve as a reminder that kissing, within appropriate boundaries, can be a beautiful and meaningful expression of love and connection. Kissing in the Bible example context meaning Jacob kissing Joseph Genesis expression of love and reconciliation holy kiss among believers New Testament symbol of affection and spiritual kinship passionate kisses in Song of Solomon Song of Solomon expression of deep emotional and physical connection between spouses. Understanding purity and physical boundaries purity is a fundamental concept in Christian relationships, as it reflects a commitment to honor God with one's body and actions. It extends beyond abstaining from sexual intercourse before marriage and encompasses maintaining physical boundaries that align with biblical principles. By understanding the importance of purity in Christian relationships, individuals can navigate the complexities of physical intimacy with wisdom and discernment. Should Christians kiss before marriage? In order to honor God with physical intimacy, it is crucial for couples to set clear boundaries and communicate openly about their beliefs and convictions. This includes discussing what is comfortable for each partner and establishing guidelines that reflect their commitment to purity. Maintaining physical boundaries serves as a safeguard against temptation and helps preserve the integrity of the relationship. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Hebrews 13:4. Honoring God with physical intimacy involves more than just refraining from sexual activity. It requires self-control, discipline, and a genuine desire to glorify God in all aspects of the relationship. By prioritizing purity and upholding physical boundaries, couples demonstrate their commitment to living according to biblical principles and nurturing a relationship centered on love, trust, and respect. Christian dating and physical boundaries. The importance of communication open and honest communication plays a significant role in maintaining purity and establishing physical boundaries in Christian relationships. It allows partners to express their beliefs, desires, and concerns about physical intimacy, ensuring that both individuals feel heard and respected. Effective communication also fosters a deeper emotional connection, strengthens trust, and nurtures spiritual growth within the relationship. By regularly discussing their boundaries and comfort levels, couples can ensure that their physical intimacy aligns with their shared values and mutual understanding. It promotes a healthy balance between affection and self-control, fostering a relationship that honors God and prioritizes the well-being of both individuals involved. Maintaining physical boundaries Importance of purity in Christian relationships 1. Establishing clear guidelines setting boundaries that reflect biblical values and personal convictions. Preserving the sanctity of the relationship and honoring God with one's body. Two. Communicating openly expressing beliefs, desires, and concerns about physical intimacy. Nurturing trust, understanding, and a deeper emotional connection. 3. Practicing self-control maintaining discipline and physical affection and avoiding situations that may compromise purity. Demonstrating a commitment to living according to biblical principles and values. 4. 
glorifying God putting God at the center of the relationship and seeking to honor Him in all aspects, fostering a relationship that reflects God's love, grace, and righteousness, balancing physical and emotional intimacy in Christian relationships, finding a balance between physical and emotional intimacy is crucial. While physical affection is important, it should be accompanied by a deep emotional and spiritual connection. Nurturing this connection requires open communication, understanding, and support for each other's spiritual growth. Scriptural view on kissing. Emotional intimacy is the foundation that sustains a relationship beyond the physical realm. It involves sharing dreams, fears, and vulnerabilities, and it forms a bond that goes beyond the superficial. By prioritizing emotional connection, couples can strengthen their relationship and build a solid foundation for long-term commitment. Christian dating guidelines. Moreover, nurturing the spiritual connection in a relationship is equally important. This involves praying together, attending religious activities as a couple, and discussing religious beliefs and values. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family, view all posts.